Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars The Old Republic video. So this video is actually going to be a pack opening video. I'm going to be opening the Plunderers pack. Now on my channel I actually haven't had a Plunderers pack opening already because when the pack came out I was on vacation and I wasn't able to do a pack opening for that so I think it's fitting that I do one now. But also because I'm here on the Bedouin colony. And as you guys can see I have 30 million credits. I've been selling some miscellaneous items. You might not know that beforehand, uh, before uh, one of the recent patches, uh, character transfers costed 90 cartel coins so I was actually playing on two servers. I was playing on the Harbinger and the Bedouin colony. And what I would do is I would buy low on the Harbinger then transfer a ton of items to uh, the Bedouin colony through character transfer and then sell them on the Bedouin colony and the Bedouin colony tends to have a, a good enough population so that things sell but also a low enough population so that you can actually govern what a lot of the prices on the GTN and you can put up things for high prices and they'll actually sell. So I was selling some miscellaneous items I had on some of my characters, I have three characters on the Bedouin colony and I was able to rack up 30 million credits. And I thought these, these credits are kind of stranded now, what am I going to do really do with them? Uh, because I can't give them to a character in the Harbinger, it'll cost too many cartel coins to do a 1,000 cartel coin character transfer. I'm not really willing to do that. Um, and I don't need the 30 million credits. I already have 54 something million credits on my other character. And I've got tons of items I'm, I'm looking to sell on the Harbinger. So I have no need for these credits. So I thought, let's gamble. I kind of felt like gambling as well. And so I thought, why not do a, try to find a pack here that I can buy and I can gamble with. And then I can do a pack opening. And fair enough... Um, as you guys can see here, the Plunderers packs are going for 18 million credits, which is a very steep price. Normally, I would recommend buying one of these Hyper Crates for 10 to 11 million credits. That's a really good deal. If you go a little higher than that, maybe 13 million, 14 million, okay, not bad, but 18 million is insane. However, keep in mind that because I'm on the Bedouin colony, uh, the items from these packs also sell for a lot more. Uh, Grand Chance Cubes tend to go for higher than they would go on the Harbinger, uh, but mainly the reason I want to gamble with the Plunderers packs is because they contain the lightning weapon tuning which is not platinum rarity it's gold rarity so there's a good chance I might get one out of the packs and if I do it's going for like 60 million credits on this server so I could probably make a ton of credits off of it in terms of the grand chance cubes I've done the math and um, and if I want to make a profit I'll probably make around 9 million credits on the grand chance cubes from this pack so I need to make another 9 million credits just to make my money back just off the other items so I'm hoping I'll get something rare I'm hoping I'll get a little lucky so that I'll make my credits back at least but the reason I'm doing this video is because at the end of the day I don't care if I lose credits uh, it's, um, these credits are stranded on the server anyway I don't mind losing a few credits if need be I won't lose too many either but I just felt like gambling today so let's get this pack opening started once again really hoping for that lightning weapon tuning that's the whole reason I'm doing these. Oh, one thing I quickly wanted to mention before I get on with it was, as you guys might have noticed, uh, when you look at the hyper crates, there's only one person selling these hyper crates. This Ethmarita, he's or she is the only person selling these hyper crates, and then there's a, there are a few other miscellaneous sellers here, but the only main person selling hyper crates is this one person. I don't think they're a bot because uh, I've I've lo I actually saw them online once on the Imperial side and it was a level 65 sniper and I tried to contact him, I mailed him, I whispered him, I wanted to see if I could get a better deal but he never responded, or he or she never responded so I just thought, uh, who cares, I'll just buy it up anyway. So let's start this pack opening. Now one thing, one thing I wanted to try was to see was what if I sold each of these packs for 1 million? Because right for right now, the only pack going for lower than 1 million on the server are the disavowed packs, which is totally understandable. They were recently had a blowout sale and stuff. So it's understandable as to why uh, these packs would be going for, why those packs would be going for under a million. But if I sold each of these packs for a million, I could make 30 million credits. And as you can see right there, I would, be, I would be making a 12 million credit profit. So I might keep one pack. I might keep one pack just to see if it'll actually sell for a million credits just as an experiment so this, I'll just open the 29 packs here I really hope that pack doesn't contain the lightning weapon tuning alright cool right off the bat we have a gold decoration the commemorative statue of Vet I know this pack opening is really late but whatever Landers pack came, uh, came out oh, quite a while ago okay, I don't want to use that okay there we go that's the commemorative statue of Vet many of you have probably already seen these decorations so I won't go too in depth in trying to show you guys all that. Okay. I don't know if the game was lagging a little bit or something. Alright, come on, let's hope for that weapon tuning. Because that would just make my day. We got a Grand Chance Cube. Ah, oh, pet, okay. 
I don't mind getting these scrapped because they tend to sell really well on the bedroom colony. They sell for double or triple of what they go for on the Harbinger and they sell really well in the bedroom colony as well because they, um, uh, for some reason, companion gifts sell really well in the bedroom colony. A lot of people are willing to buy it. Uh, okay, so I've got the two crystals. Really, this crystal. The crystals in the recent packs have been so terrible. I like seeing that I'm getting the Grand Chance Cubes. Got a decoration here. Now, when the Plunderers packs first came out, I was totally livid. I really didn't like the Plunderers packs. I thought they were terrible. But now I, you see me opening them. <laughs> so, funny how that works. Oh, cool. So this doesn't sell really well, but it's actually one of the cooler ca assault cannons that have been coming out in the game recently. I haven't seen many cool assault cannons, but this one's pretty cool. This was also the cannon vet used in the, in the actual storyline, so it's nice to see that. Since I'm on a commando, actually, I might be able to use it. Although I quite like my gun I have now. It's, um, oh, no, I don't want to sit that, damn it. This is the gun I have now. One of the really rare assault cannon so I always like to keep that show it off a little bit love getting those grand chance cubes might as well make the best use of them now because the next hyper crates uh, the next few hyper crates that are coming out no grand chance cubes they won't have they'll have very very few grand chance cubes so there's all and a lot of people have been uh, also hypothesizing in my comment section and they're totally correct is grand chance cubes are going to become more rare um, they already sell super well and they're gonna sell even better and probably for higher prices uh, because they're gonna become a lot more rare still not getting anything too good I've got, I keep getting these crystals a few decorations here and there decorations are those kind of consistent item that sell t tends to sell for a few hundred thousand credits on the GTN and um, and they're they're quite good to get they're not a bad item to come out of these packs at all they also sell really well in a few months when the pack gets embargoed decorations are often the thing that sells super well uh, is that cool and preserve upper body armor? So perfect. That's what. That's the best thing to get out of these silver armor sets. You always want the upper body armor. It tends to sell for the most. All right. So another grand chance cube and another decoration. I haven't checked the prices of these decorations on the GTN. They got the lower body armor as well. I haven't checked the price of decorations on the GTN on the bedroom colony, but I'm sure the decorations sell pretty well. Now here's something interesting, uh, if you look at the Artful Trickster's Blaster, this is one of the things that kind of, I was like, okay, Bedroom Colony is a good place to open this pack, because look at this. This is going for like 949,000 credits in the GTN. I, I highly doubt this is going to sell at that price, but still, you know, you can try always and see if you can make a, a really good amount of credits. This sells for like maybe 20,000, 30,000 credits in the Harbinger, so you can see why I was pretty excited too. Uh, sell that on the bedroom colony. Bedroom colony is the place to be if you want to make a ton of credits selling stuff. Not the best place to buy low. You won't be able to find good deals on the GTN here, but there's uh, it's a great place to sell. That's why it was so easy to make credits off the character transfer that was happening. Ugh. So this is this can this is the supplementary body armor. Fortunately, it contains no headgear, so that often will sell for maybe very very few credits on the GTN. Even if I'm on the um, Oh damn, so that, that's, I don't know why that happens, you can't merge those two, it's just taking up cargo space. Alright, I'm totally going to run out of space, that sucks. I'll just take out the Grand Chance Cubes now. Well, might as well, okay. I'm not getting many Grand Chance Cubes from here, which is which is pretty terrible. I'm, I'm not sure whether they released the, I, I doubt it that they um, changed the, the chance of getting Grand Chance Cubes from the packs because they did in the most recent pack. There's a reduced chance of getting Grand Chance Cubes in the Gemini pack. However, um, however, I'm not sure if they did that for these packs. I doubt it. I seem to be getting quite a few Grand Chance Cubes. So now I'm going to have to be a little careful with, well, okay, I'm going to run out of space, guaranteed. It's terrible, okay. Oh cool, yes, got a gold item. Still didn't get no, um, I've gotten a few gold items actually. I got this this decoration, and I've got um, now the Corellian Star Drive Spark, so that's perfect. That's a really good uh, item to get. Gold uh, mount. It's not one of the bad gold mounts, I don't think. Oh, I'm opening the same pack, aren't I? Yeah. Okay. So let's keep going. Still, okay, the Regal Tauntaun. That's good, that's selling for a few hundred thousand credits on this server. Still hoping for that lightning weapon tuning. Really badly want that. That will make me a ton of credits. Pet and Grand Chance Cube. So each of these has one Grand Chance Cube so far, I believe. So 
I'm, I'm gonna want to do a tally of how many grand champs cubes I have. Oh wow, cool. Okay, got both of the gold mounts. That's I'm not gonna say that's unlucky. Uh, analog load lifter, very very unpopular mount I must say. Uh, but the difference is it's selling for like three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand credits in the harbinger. But on the bedroom column here, this I've seen this selling for two million credits. So that's why I want to open this pack on the bedroom column. You're gonna be making a lot more credits. But that is still lucky. Two gold mounts. Wow. Now, if only I can pull off the, if only I can pull off the lightning weapon tuning. Nope. Okay. Kind of want to open this last pack, but it's also it would be smart if I just left it there, and um, I want to see if that'll sell. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna open that. I'm gonna sell that on the GTN. I hope it doesn't contain that lightning weapon tuning, but I doubt it. All right, just a final tally of how many grand chance cubes I have: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. All right, so around uh, 32 Grand Chance Cubes, give or take one or two. Uh, I might be counting wrong how many Grand Chance Cubes are in here, but 32 Grand Chance Cubes, so that's actually a really good, strong number. Um, this was actually a lot better of a pack opening than I thought it would be. Um, I got a ton of Grand Chance Cubes, which is great. They sell for around 400,000 credits on this server. Um, I got two, both gold mounts and a gold decoration. I've got a ton of really good decorations here that I'm sure will sell for a little bit. I'm sure I'm going to make my money back. I will keep you guys updated. I'll do a, I'll do another video after the cooldown of these run off and I put them all in the GTN and I try to sell them. Uh, once I get the majority of them sold, I'll do a video and let you guys know about whether I was able to make my money back or not. Because 18 million credits is a gamble. It's a gamble. And definitely if I do make my credits back and if I do make a profit, I'll be sure to go and um, and maybe try my luck again with another pack. Or maybe another plunderous pack, but um, but that is the whole pack opening for now. Let's see if I got I got a few mail. I think these are successful item sales of some crafting items. Um, so yeah, this is a companion gift. So a few companion gifts. That's cool. All right, so that was the pack opening of the plunderous pack. Really late to the party, but I thought I'd do it anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.